Is it going to make a difference? Absolutely. One of them would be real. One of them is going to be... Now, the square root of negative 63 is something we should have focused on with our eyes. You know the negative gives you an i. 63 is 9 times 7. That's going to be 3i root 7. Are you with me? If not, work on that again. This is 3i root 7. Don't forget about your eye. Remember, forget your eyes. You can't really see the problem. Ha, 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 ha. Too much? The way you sleep, I actually drank this morning. Just kidding. It is Friday. Coffee, I drank coffee this morning. So this is the negative one, that's our i. Nine times seven, that's three root seven. Three i root seven. You can't simplify any more than this. You're just gonna write out your two solutions, negative one plus three i root seven over eight. Negative 1 minus 3i root 7 over 8. That's it. Would you raise your hand feel okay with what we talked about so far? So just a lot of manipulation. There's only one thing i got to do. It's going to take you 10 seconds, but I promise it's going to help you on your test and your homework. Do you remember the Pythagorean theorem? Yes. If I give you something like this, now let's make it a 2 just to make it easier. 2 and 20. Could you set it up? Pythagorean theorem says a leg squared plus a leg squared, notice the parentheses, equals the hypotenuse squared. You okay with that? What would you do now? Do the FOIL method on x plus 2. FOIL that, sure. X squared plus X squared plus 4X, notice in no terms, you're going to FOIL, plus 4 equals 400. What now? Combine like terms. Combine like terms and get everything to one side. Get everything to one side. You need a zero to use a quadratic formula. We'd have 2X squared plus 4X minus 396 equals zero. Yes, no? Now. Could you use a quadratic formula? Yeah. Yeah, maybe divide everything by two. If you divide everything by two, it lowers it by a factor of two, and then use a quadratic formula. You're going to have some big numbers, but it will work. Also, you're going to get two solutions, one positive and one negative. Is the negative going to work in this situation? We're going to omit the negative because you can't have a negative distance. So you're going to take the positive one. That will be your answer for x. Did you, did you follow this? Pythagorean theorem, and, and then the same, same stuff. So that's it. How many people feel okay with what we talked about? Good deal.